So this one, it was inspired by Oz because I was watching some catching up on my Excel TV the other day, and he was talking about making people cry. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no, just someone in I I recently did a blog post, and someone in the comments said they were so happy they learned this that they cry. It was Andrea. Um, so, so there you go. So I know how you feel, Oz. Yes. Uh, this one is really simple, but for whatever reason, it's it's one that um, a lot of people can use. So basically, if you have any like hidden rows, or or if you're using a subtotal and you have some hidden rows here, like here, I, this is just subtotal function with some hidden rows or some grouped and collapsed rows. If you typically, if you take this whole thing and copy it, I'm gonna use Control C on the keyboard, paste it down here, you get all those rows right there, right? And I know you guys already know this one. But um, if we only wanted to paste these particular rows right here, it's what we're seeing on the screen. There's a keyboard shortcut. I'm, let me get rid of this stuff. There's a keyboard shortcut to just select the visible cells only. It's really simple. It's Alt semicolon. So Alt semicolon will select the visible cells only in that range. And then when you hit Control C, oops, hit too many buttons. When you hit Control C, that'll only select those visible cells in the range right there. And then you paste them down here. You just use Control V to paste. And you're only going to see those visible cells. So you're not copying everything that's in those hidden rows. So that's a really simple one. Um, another one I use quite a bit. Hold on, before we get yeah. before we get too far, yeah. I'd lo lo love to hear Oz's ranking on oh, that, so we can uh, yeah. we can move on. It sounds like you're going to go back to back to back to back, and I love it. Oh, yeah. I can yeah, I could go all day, but you know, just slow me down. Um, Wait, so all right, yeah, so I, I want to give that a four because wow. more people do need to know about that. A lot of yeah. people filter and then need to copy and paste, and then they wind up pasting the whole world. So you get to know that shortcut. You get to know, and you can also do it by a go-to special. So anyway, yeah, right. keep doing that. Yeah, and I put a, um, I put a little. So if you, yeah. So there's this keyboard shortcut, Alt semicolon, and like you said, go-to special. You hit the F5 key on the keyboard, that'll bring up go-to, hit special, and it's visible cells only. That's the one there. Yep. And you can also add a uh, button to the quick access toolbar up here for uh, select visible cells. So if you're not a keyboard shortcut person or you're going to use that once a month, um, you can add a, a button right up there in the quick access toolbar for select visible. And it even shows the keyboard shortcut right there, alt semicolon. So, okay. Yeah, that's one that, yeah, because people will, I've seen it happen and it's, you know, no one's fault, you just end up going and copying each one of these rows or copying them all and then, um, you know, and then deleting what you don't need and all that kind of stuff. So, I'll send my colon hey, to the rescue. John, now, yeah. um, now this may just be a Google Hangouts part. I think some of the, the shapes aren't really showing up on our side, uh, but we were, able to, we were able to follow along. And I just wanted to ask you, um, just for our audience, would you be able to share this spreadsheet? Um, Yes. You know that for download on your site. Okay, or not? I shouldn't say site on the um on our uh, Excel TV page. Cool. Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. It's on, on the same page, then you'll see this episode along with all the other videos. The John Akinpora page. We'll put a little video. Uh, we'll put a down link there as well to share this. Yeah. Great. And I know yeah. our viewers would appreciate that. Okay. So we cool. Thank you for that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Love to share that. 